Welcome to another edition of MCAT Strategy. Today we will be discussing Verbal Reasoning, Active Strategies, Part 3. If you saw Part 2, uh, I discussed my new rating system that I will use for strategies from now on. Uh, these ratings that I give to strategies are my own opinion, and I encourage you try to try them out for yourself because not every strategy works for everyone and some will work better for some people and not for others so try them out for yourself and see if they work for you and see if you agree with my rating the first strategy we will discuss today is doing the easier questions of the passage first this is a strategy that I feel is pretty useful and it is not like ranking the passages in terms of difficulty it this one is a lot less time-consuming. The rationale behind this strategy is it leaves you more time to do the more difficult questions if you take care of the easy questions first. Another advantage to this strategy is that it makes sure that you get all the easy points first so that you don't get hung up on the more difficult questions and end up having to guess on easy questions. And overall, this strategy is fairly easy to implement with a little bit of practice, and in that way, it doesn't drain a lot of your time. So you might be wondering how you judge which questions are more difficult and which ones are easy. Well, the primary criteria is the length of the questions and the answer choices. I'm sure you've found that the questions that are longer and have very long answer choices are often more difficult and require more time. So those are the ones that you want to leave till later. The short questions are the ones you are looking to take care of first. So that is the primary criteria that you will use. Just give it a quick glance and do the shorter looking ones. But this is obviously not foolproof. So the Second criteria is to do the questions based on question types. Certain types of questions, such as retrieval questions and main idea questions, are easier than other types. So make sure you take care of those first and leave the more difficult question types, like Roman numeral questions, last. Uh, when you are going through and actually reading the questions to sort them, make sure you read you only read the question and not the answer choices and this makes this helps to make the strategy more time efficient. This strategy of eliminating answer choices and considering what is remaining is a an essential strategy. Any presentation on test taking skills, especially for multiple choice exams, will include this strategy. So make sure you use it uh, use it constantly throughout all of your MCAT exam. So to use the process of elimination, obviously you uh, go through the question and then you cross off those that are incorrect. And when you go through the question the first time, try to eliminate at least two choices. And then once you've eliminated those choices, uh, you can consider the two remaining choices more carefully. Uh, this strategy is incredibly useful. It saves you time and improves your accuracy. And I will be doing a an entire video of how to use the strategy effectively later on. But for now, just learn to recognize which answers are incorrect. And, and if you have an idea of what the answer you are looking for, just cancel the ones that are not what you're looking for. The last strategy we will be discussing today is reading the questions before reading the passage. This strategy has its advantages and disadvantages. Uh, the main advantage is that you get to uh, you get an idea of what types of questions they are going to ask, and you can pay extra attention to uh, parts of the passage that will help you to answer the question. However, this strategy is only helpful for maybe half the ty question types because often uh, some question types will require you to finish the entire passage and have a good overall idea before answering them. 
So this strategy is effective on retrieval, vocabulary, author stance, main idea questions, and strength and strengthen and weaken types of questions. However, they are not effective on new information, evaluate, Roman numeral, and inference types because those require more of a holistic uh, idea of the passage. So if you can learn to recognize the question types by their keywords or their appearance, then you can uh, decide whether or not you are going to use the strategy because I find that reading all of the questions um, reading all of the questions first is a bit time consuming. So this strategy can be made more efficient if you recognize which questions they, it is useful for and only read those, question, those types of questions before you read the passage. There will be more strategy videos coming in the future. As always, please rate, comment, and, comment, and subscribe, and I'll do my best to respond to any comments made below. Until next time, keep on practicing. This is MCAT Strategy, logging off.